This is Timmy. He's on a very, very fast train with two synchronized clocks. Let's look at those synchronized clocks. No matter how much time passes, those clocks are always going to be synchronized from Timmy's perspective. Now this is you. Now from your perspective, you notice something really weird. Those clocks aren't synchronized anymore. In fact, the rear one is ahead by a lot. This is an effect known as the rear clock ahead effect. But why does this strange effect even happen in the first place? Well, the answer has to do with special relativity. Using a Lorentz transformation, we can actually see why this effect occurs. Substituting and simplifying, we arrive at our final relation, which shows that there is, indeed, a finite shift between the rear clock and the front clock, with the rear clock being ahead by an amount LV over C squared, where L is the length of the train, V is the speed of the train, and C is the speed of light. And that's the rear clock ahead effect.